Hello students, uh, good morning to today's class. In the last class, I have discussed with you the chapter probability and I have left only three questions, I think. Okay, the last three questions. And look at here, before that, question number 9 and question number 10 are actually related to probability, but uh, here the data is not given to you to calculate the probability data is not given to you and do one thing i have given three activities for you already okay so i have completed three activities a3 a1 a2 like that okay so now the fourth activity is this one okay so that's why i have not given the fourth activity for you so now this is a4 fourth activity so fourth activity means in this activity you need to include these two question question number nine and question number 10 okay so you have to uh, uh, prepare one booklet okay means like a, a one activity within that you need to answer for the question number 9 and question number 10 okay so just to go through the question you can understand uh, what actually given it is okay so then you need to answer for the question number uh, 9 and 10 in the form of activity remember and this is the fourth activity for you okay so if you just go through the activity you can understand what you have to do and uh, how to answer for this one so uh, that is uh, activity number nine is note the frequency of two wheelers three wheelers and four wheelers going fast during a time interval in front of your school gate find the probability that any one vehicle out of the total vehicles you have observed is a two wheeler okay so now uh, you got you can't conduct this one in front of the school okay but you can do this one in front of your home but uh, there must be a uh, flow of uh, vehicles okay there must be moving vehicles uh, or uh, if there is no situation like that just go through the uh, main roads okay just uh, sit for one hour okay it will be enough just for one hour or uh, half an hour and count how many vehicles uh, goes okay how many vehicle crosses uh, and note down uh, based on number of wheels two wheelers okay like bikes okay and four wheelers means cars uh, and and four four six wheelers okay two wheelers three wheelers uh, four wheelers only given to you okay just do one thing two wheelers means uh, consider uh, bikes and also cycles okay bicycles okay we need to consider cycles also uh, three wheelers means auto okay so usually uh, auto will have three wheelers and four wheelers means cars and others okay include buses also okay buses and uh, uh, tempo traveler whatever anything okay uh, include all those vehicles in uh, four wheelers okay usually buses will have uh, actually how much uh, four six wheels actually but even though uh, include all those uh, in the uh, four wheeler section okay and uh, two wheelers means include bikes including bikes and what bicycles and uh, uh, for three wheelers means uh, you know that one okay only autos will have three wheels just you need to take the data like this okay so take the data like this then after that you need to find out probability of two wheelers remember probability of two wheelers and it is the task for you in the same sense activity 10 is uh, ask all the students in your uh, class uh, to write a three digit number uh, choose any student from the room at random what is the probability that the number written by her or him is divisible by three remember that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3 so but you can't do this one with the students okay so means uh, uh, you need to ask your friends uh, to collect three digit numbers so, so for this one uh, do one thing okay you can ask your family members okay uh, just collect uh, 10 3 digit numbers okay 10 3 digit numbers from 10 different persons okay do one thing uh, collect 10 three digit numbers 10 will be enough if you want you can collect more numbers okay 20 numbers 25 like that uh, just 10 will be enough i think okay 
just collected 10 three digit numbers from different different persons okay then uh, you need to identify how many of them are divisible by three then you need to find out the probability so probability will become like like this okay so in the denominator you need to write you know, all the numbers all the numbers are actually 10 there are 10 numbers among them how many are divisible suppose there are two numbers which are divisible by three then probability will become two by ten like that suppose there are no numbers in the collected 10 numbers if there is no number which is divisible by three then the probability will become what zero by ten zero by ten means it will become zero so like that okay so you need to do these activities okay so first one by counting the vehicles and second one by uh, uh, collecting uh, three digit numbers from different different persons i told for you minimum uh, 10 numbers you need to collect okay so do these activities as a fourth activity and you have to enclose this fourth activity in a single booklet and uh, include the front page also for this one okay just write on activity four uh, so topic just written probability it will be enough okay topic probability activity four so now i will move on to the question number 11 so now i will move on to the next question so look at the next question uh, is like this. 11 bags of wheat flour each marked 5 kg actually contained the following weights of flour 4.97 5.05 5.08 and so on okay find the probability that any of these bags chosen at random contains more than 5 kg of flour so just understand the problem first here there are uh, uh, 10 floor bags okay uh, on the bag it is indicated it measures 5 kg exactly but actual thing is uh, they are not exactly 5 kg okay so each bag has a different weight and uh, the exact weight of each bag is given to you first bag measures 4.97 kg is not exactly 5 kg okay and second bag is uh, slightly greater than 5 kg 5.05 kg third one 5.08 kg fourth one 5.03 and so on like this okay so now among uh, this data okay in this data you need to find out what is the probability that the bag chosen at random contains more than 5 kg of a floor more than 5 kg means it should be greater than 5 kg okay greater than 5 kg not 5 kg not exactly 5 kg so for this one so now look at it actually in here uh, there are how many bags 11 i think okay 1 2 3 okay yes exactly it is given here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay total 11 bags okay these are the outcomes okay total number of outcomes is equal to total number of bags so that's why it will become how much 11 okay remember here total number of outcomes is 11 so now the favorable outcomes means what now look at here what is the event here the bag chosen at random contains more than 5 kg of flour this is the event okay it should be greater than 5 kg okay now look at the outcomes which outcome satisfy this one it is called as favorable okay is this greater than or equal to 5 no 5 kg okay so is this greater than, greater than or equal to 5 yes okay so this is a favorable outcome okay this is the first one favorable outcome and second one okay look at here what about this one third one okay it is also greater than 5 kg so that's why this is also favorable outcome then what about the third one third one is also greater than 5 that's why this is also favorable but this is not favorable because this is exactly equal to 5 kg but the thing is what it should be greater than 5 kg more than 5 kg okay if it is given like this more than or equal to 5 kg then you can include 5 kg but here it is strictly greater than 5 kg okay strictly greater than 5 kg so that's why this is not favorable outcome about the second one next one is favorable because this is greater than 5 and the next one is also favorable because greater than 5 not favorable this is favorable okay and the next one is also favorable okay and what about the last one okay exactly 5 kg means not favorable okay so now count how many outcomes are favorable 1 2 3 4 
five six seven okay what will be the probability seven by eleven okay so this completes the question number eleven and i will move to the question number twelve a study was conducted to find out the concentration of sulfur dioxide in the air parts per million okay so this is the one of the way of expressing concentration parts per million ppm okay of a certain city the data obtained for 30 days is as follows okay now this is actually the question from the statistics okay so in the question it so it is already mentioned okay for you so this is from the start the statistics and you have arranged you have organized this data in the form of table that is group frequency distribution i think okay so this is actually the data so now using this table find the probability of the concentration of sulfur dioxide in the interval uh, 0 0.12 to 0.16 on any of these days okay so now for this one how many data are present okay so this is the data collected in each day so what is this data this is actually what concentration of sulfur dioxide in a particular day okay on a particular day well, so this is the first day so second day okay on third day fourth day fifth day and so on this is the 30th day okay so that's why how many outcomes are there here how many outputs are there totally 30 means so total number of outcomes will become 30 here okay total number of outcomes total number of days is 30 that's why total number of outcomes will become how much 30 and do one thing so while writing the solution to this one you need to write on the table what you have written in the chapter statistics okay if you write on the table then it will be very easy to identify uh, favorable outcomes because now look at here now we need to find out the probability of actually what now look at it. find the probability of concentration of sulfur dioxide in the interval 0 0.12 to 0 0.16 of any of these days so under the node a frequency ke corresponding aage, sorry a class interval ke corresponding aage, ni mga ondu frequency bandite a table ali ideal okay a table now what time you draw mark ko peko table na draw mark ko mele gota or else without a table mark tira under a node a total 30 uh, observations say nite okay 30 observations ali 0 0.12 to 0 0.16 Class interval ke belong agwarta uh, observations yao de odidenta nevo identification marbe ka gutte. So hagi identify mado da treli 0 0.12 in the 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15. But 0 0.16 consider mado hagi la upper limit alba that's why. Okay, so hagi gets marbo da ili north of a uh, 0 0.12 idre okay. Okay, 16 gint 16 and then 16 gint the jasti rubarto. Mm, okay, this include Agutila. Okay, so this one include Agutala and then 0 0.13 include Agutala. So include Agala. Okay, Mateyawa observation of Kuda. E class interval include Agutila. Only two observations. So these two outcomes, Ega outcomes are usually Karithi now observation, but lagging. Probability outcomes of the treatment. So these two outcomes in the world, they are favorable. Okay. So is the favorable outcomes only two. So that's why two divided by 30 because there are totally 30 outcomes. Okay, that's why 2 by 30 means 1 by 15. It will become the probability. Okay. So now I will move to the next question. 13th one. The blood groups of 30 students of a class eight are recorded as follows i think this is again from chapter statistics okay uh, this is the first question uh, in the first exercise i think okay it means in second exercise okay related to blood group now look at here use this table to determine the probability that a student of this class selected at random has blood group a b okay so means he is going to ask what is the probability of getting a blood group a b so now how many outcomes are there okay how many outcomes are there 30 outcomes total number of outcomes will become what 30 okay total number of outcomes will become what 30 and then next what is the event so now look at after the probability student of this class selected at random has 
blood group AB. Okay, so the students who having blood group AB they are favorable. Now look at here. So this is not favorable because A, not favorable, not favorable, not favorable. But this is favorable because AB means wherever there is AB, it is what favorable. Okay, not 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 favorable. And look at here. Here it is one more AB favorable. Okay. Here one more AB favorable means only three students uh, having a blood group AB. So that's why there are three favorable outcomes. Okay. So numerator favorable outcomes. So denominator total number of outcomes. Okay. Usually it is written. Okay. So this is actually written. But you can write on the formula what I have given to you. Okay. So if you write on the formula here, you need to write on number of outcomes. Divided by total number of outcomes and that was okay. Then you can write on here uh, favorable outcomes so 3 divided by total number of outcomes so 30. 3 by 30 means it will become 1 by 10, like this. Okay, so this completes all the questions of the chapter probability. And uh, do one thing you need to solve all the example questions. Okay, and if you have any doubts regarding uh, example questions if you need explanation for any example questions you need to uh, put the question number uh, to my whatsapp number then i'm going to explain for you uh, the solution of those example questions if you have any difficulty okay if you could not understand anything then you can send the question number uh, to my whatsapp number then i'm going to explain uh, those questions in the next video okay so this will complete the chapter of uh, probability and i told for you uh, do activity 4 okay question number 9 and 10 or activity 4 remember and uh, just uh, after few days uh, I ask you to submit the activity 4 okay I'm going to accept for you so do this one also okay and uh, this completes the chapter probability so entire chapter depends upon only one formula okay number of outcome number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes Okay, this is the only formula we have used uh, all over the chapter we have been used all over the chapter okay so that's which is very important and also in the next year and also in the first you see definitely you need this formula and uh, all the terminologies are related to probability okay so this completes the chapter probability and i'm going to uh, stop the today's class uh, up to here complete the notes okay up to here and uh, in the next class, I'm going to begin the new job. Okay. Thank you. One and all.